So, just a quick short video. This, uh, this rim's got um, just plain old black paint on an alloy rim. I'd already started sandblasting it with a uh, dry sandblaster. As you can see, that was doing a pretty good job. But now we've got a wet sandblaster. So uh, we'll get that fired up and show you what happens. This is running on a uh, Karcher K2. This is actually running sand from the landscapers. The sand suction hose is a little bit loose. Not a huge amount of sand coming through at the moment. Sand. But uh, yeah, that's the way it works. The sand got wet, that's why. Must have had a little bit of a clog and that made the sand get wet. Basically, it's a attachment, goes in the end of the carcher. to a uh, 45 degree suction with a ceramic nozzle in the end. It's reasonably big, like it's not small. The sand gets sucked up on its way through. And away it blasts. So that's not garnet, that was uh, like beach sand. Which is probably, well, it's not beach sand, it's uh, pit sand. Like inland pit sand, no salt in it. And uh, it does quite a good job of taking material off when it's actually getting delivered sand. So uh, I'll do something to work on stopping the water getting, shooting back. I think what's happening is sometimes a big chunk of sand goes in the nozzle, hits the end and it gets a bit of splash back. So uh, I might sift out the sand to make sure it's nice and neat because I can buy 500 kilos of it for 30 Australian dollars. I think it's worth that little bit of effort compared to dollar a kilo. So, uh, yeah. As you can see, it takes the material off, doesn't take chunks out of the aluminium. Good thing. And all you're left with is sand and water. No dust. No breathing apparatus. And uh, not nowhere near the amount of cleanup. Let the sand dry in the sun or broom it into a pile or whatever while it's wet. Suck it up with a wet and dry. Thanks heaps for watching guys. You'll see some more on this. I uh, used it up here on the board actually. That nice little strip that's just been done. Yeah, so. Uh, oh, and down there. Just give it a little bit of a, bit of a test. In a few different places. It's only a matter of washing it off and uh, Oh, the stuff you can buy to stop things rusting instantly like a white uh, like a mineral natural 
mineral oil that you can squirt on there. That'll stop it rusting straight away so you can give it a clean and etch primer. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next video.